easily than sharp bones. Hello, DT. How's everything going? Hello, teacher. I'm okay, but not today. Huh? Is there something wrong? Are you sick? Not really. This morning, I have a long jump practice, and I stop before I jump. My legs and my arms will hurt. Teacher, help me, please. Oh, DT, you should see a doctor and get checked. But I think your bones didn't break, right? No, it didn't, I guess. But my muscles are painful a bit. Oh, you are lucky because your bones are still in good condition. In fact, arm bones and leg bones easily get broken compared to other bones in our body. Really? Yes. Um, arm bones and leg bones are what type of bones? Long bones. Is it right? Yes, it's right. And the carpals in the wrist or the tarsals in your ankle wrist are types of short bones. Okay, I got it. So, why do long bones break more easily than short bones, teacher? I'm going to explain that through an experiment. Let's have a look, DT. Our apparatus includes a force meter, two drinking straws, a pair of scissors, a ruler, a pen and a paper. In this experiment, we use drinking straw instead of real bones. Now, look at these two identical straws. We keep one in full length. Cut the other straw into half. And cut one of the halves into two parts. But first, Please help me measure the full length straw, DT. Okay, teacher. It's 14.5 cm long. Okay, let's write the measurement down on the first row of the results table. Now, hold the full length straw gently, and I will use the force meter to pull it in the middle. The full length straw is bent. Okay, help me read the result in the force meter and write the results. Yes, teacher. It's 1.5 Newton. Now, take turn with the half length straw. I will measure the length of it first. It's 7.5 cm long, DT. Write down the result. Okay, I did it. Now, you hold the straw and I pull the force meter. Teacher, please help me with the result in the force meter when the straw is bent. Sure, and the result is 2 Newton, DT. I wrote it already. Lastly, let's do an experiment with one quarter length straw, teacher. Yes, how long is it, DT? It's 3.5 cm long, teacher. Okay, hold it and I pull it with the force meter. Now, read the result, DT. It's 2.8 Newton. Now, let's compare the results after three measurements. What can you notice? Well, as I can see from the result, the force that is needed to make the straw bend differs. How do they differ? When the straw is long, the force needed is low. However, when the force needed is high, 
then the straw is short. So therefore, well, I think the force needed to break the short bones is higher than the one needed to break the long bones. It means long bones break more easier than short bones. Good job, Diti. So you should be careful when you play sports or do exercises. Yes, teacher. Now I have to see a doctor for a checkup. Thank you and goodbye. See you. My pleasure. See you all later. Bye for now.